Hi, right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Habakkuk, Kudash. Double honors to the apostles, now there's a great millstone, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Another quick and transit to the spirit and power, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this lesson may be edifying. I want to start off in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 7. It says, Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. So you should well understand by now that Babylon, this is speaking about America, all right? The whore that sitteth upon many waters is America. The waters represent the other nations, okay? The whore that sitteth upon the many waters represents how America has the power and control of the other nations. All right. Now, when you go into this this golden cup, you know um, America has this golden cup. Now, when you go into it, it goes into uh, you know you can go into the their ways, their customs, their ideology, right, philosophies, so forth and so on. See, the nations what they have done is they have taken on the practices of America, Babylon, a great thinking that. This way was the way. But in all actuality, is what they what they have started to find out. Um, hence the reason why the nations are mad is that the, the way of Babylon the Great is not the way. Right? Their practices are vain. See, it looks good on the outside. What they say, uh, external, but internally, it's destruction. Okay, it's not beneficial. It's not profitable for a nation to follow the ways of America, Babylon, and Great. And now the nations are starting to see that. This is why they are now leaving off from the ways of Babylon, the Great. But before, the nations wanted to be just like Babylon, the Great, or they wanted to be just like Esau. They wanted to follow his way, his traditions. Okay. Meanwhile, the traditions that E is doing was never good for them it just looked good you know but slowly but surely these nations are starting to realize that his way is not the way this is why the nations are now what they are starting to ban the practices of babylon the great you know the influence that babylon the great has upon their country they no longer want to deal with why because it is destructive and to their people, it is it is destructive, and to their nation, right? See the ways of the ways of Esau. It looked good, you know. It's temporal, but for its long term, it's not beneficial, right? It's just not. And the nations are waking up, and they are realizing this. So this is why they're pissed off, amongst other things, right? But that's just one aspect of it. But see, the nations have been drunk off of Esau's BS for a long time. And it's at the point where there's nations that <laughs> have took on the ways of Esau and it seemed like <laughs> the, the, the damage has been, the damage that has already been done, it's like irreversible. You see, that's how destructive the mindset that Esau, Edom, has right his his, his 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 way of life that's how destructive it is it seems like his way or his influence have done so much damage to a country a nation a people that it feels to be irreversible to get out of or feel like a never-ending process to, to to revive for a nation to revive themselves all right or to uh um Basically, to, res to restore themselves back to the way that they once were. Right? So, verse 8, it says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, she may be healed. So, this is talking about the destruction of Babylon the Great. The daughter of Babylon. Like I say, which is America. Because this place is going to fall I'm reading it right now. It's already prophecy that this place is going to fall. 
You know? All we're doing right now is, is watching the last legs of, of prophecy take place. But there is a, um, a pending doom and gloom coming to the daughter of Babylon. <laughs> you see? It's pending. And there's no way to stop it. You know? So if you think this place can be healed, guess what? This scripture right here, this scripture just, this is just one of many. Right here is to let you know is there is no hope for this place. It can't be healed no matter what you do. That wound, that sore, it's already laid. That, uh, that, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of it, but basically, the, um, I mean, the suffering has already started, but, um, the word I'm looking for is, uh, when someone is, uh, when uh, someone's, uh, Again, oh, that that uh, that uh, disease, so to speak, is spreading. All right, and it's uncontrollable. You know, see before it's, see uh, Babylon had its times. You know where you know they can fall for a little bit, right? No matter what it be, like you know the uh, the Great Depression and things like that, right? But see, that wasn't the end of this place. This here is speaking of the end of this place. Okay? Talk about the fall and it's never going to rise again. I don't see this place, you know, uh, uh, rising again. Let's just say if the economy fails. I, I just don't see it taking place. I, I just, I see, you know, what uh, Slick, what Esau might do is he might start to push his, uh, his digital agenda. And we already know where that's going. Right? We know he's waiting to set up. This whole uh, the or push forth right or mandate so to speak the M O T B the M A R K the Karagma which is mentioned in Revelation the 13th chapter right and you can read verse 16 on down he's waiting to mandate that but what is he doing first he's setting things up right he's creating all this chaos which we always mention your hair's mentioned or out of chaos he sets up this chaos. And then what? He creates order out of it. That's just the type of things he does. But it's all to push and further what? His agenda, his NWO. You see? To have and take control over the people. Because right now, he's, he, he has control, but he wants full control. You know? He wants full control. And the way he wants to full control is he's going to do it by what? This, the, the digital CHIP. Right? That's how he's going to do it. But, um, and, and don't get it twisted. Just because these nations are, uh, you know, uh, not in an agreement in a lot of these things. Best believe they all have this agenda with the, uh, the di this whole digital infrastructure of the CHIP. Don't get it twisted. You see? Because they all about that. They all trying to push that. But they're not in agreement about a lot of things. All right. Well, this is one of them that these nations are in agreement about, which is that CHIP. But let's further on. Let's just go further on down. It says, um, verse nine, it says, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go. Everyone into his own country for her judgment reaches into heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Now, when you go to Revelation, the 18th chapter, what it says, Slovakia. Yeah. The Most High had remembered her sins. Okay, so all the sins and things America, Babylon, America has done, the Most High never forgot. See, the Most High ain't like you people. We are not the same. We are nowhere near comparable. You see? So the Heavenly Father haven't forgot the things, the treacherous things that uh, America has done, not only to his people, but to the world. Right? To the things that are in the world, you know, the creatures and, and, and the, 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 the whole existence of living things, life. Right. Which is coming from Esau Edom. He, he's the man. Right. The man of sin that has been revealed. OK. And he's even being revealed even further in this time. OK. As we have the Internet and, you know, people are, uh, 
you know, pulling out their phones and video cameras and things of that sort. It just, you know, revealing all his madness and spreading this information worldwide. Right? But it's getting to that point where you see people of the other nations going back to their own country because they say, look, there's no there's no further point to be here. You know, there is no uh you know, there is no more of a you know, the perfection of her beauty, so to speak. It's like when they once came maybe 10, 20, 30 plus years ago. You know, the nations, I mean, they came for the money. I mean, there was nothing else to come to Babylon the Great for except for to make the money, send back to your land, and, and live your life like a complete uh, rebellious fool. Because mm-hmm. a lot of these other nations... These countries, they don't, they don't allow this madness that Esau pushes. No, no, no. They, they don't play that. All right. They, they live by some type of uh, morals, right? Now, it may not be everything, right? Maybe not be like how, you know, when I say may not be because it's not like how we were, right? How we got the laws, statutes, and commandments, you know, how the earth uh, sh- should be governed and which will be governed, you know, very soon. You know, but these other nations still have some type of you know, dignity and, 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 and morals or morality about themselves, you know, where, you know, certain things that they would not tolerate. Okay, some type of order. It wasn't just a whole, you know, just a whole, uh, their country wasn't just like a whole land of just chaos and disorder. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, a place without any order. Nah, that's Babylon. Okay? And, and that nigga, and I say nigga, I'm talking about Esau, he... He sets up all types of unrighteous, wicked decrees for things that benefit him at the end of the day. But talk about like real order. He, he don't be he don't have that, man. For his righteous order. Let me say that correctly. Like righteous order. He don't have that. He don't establish that. That's why you see he allow all the, the type of madness that you can't even think of or, or, or speak of. You know, uh, uh, running throughout the streets. And being promoted and showcased on what? Television. <laughs> you see? So we see E's madness. All right? All his all-around madness. But all this is about to be put to a stop. All right? It's going to be no more of the way of Esau. It's going to be no more of the way of the heathen. You know? No, it's going to be the way of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's it. Complete Righteousness. Because that's what the earth needs. The earth needs a complete reset. And it will be. Right? Under a new authority. Will be new management. And believe me, you heathen will not have any involvement in setting for order throughout the earth. Any involvement. No, you're going you gonna to shut up and listen. What you need to do. All right? But the point being of this lesson, like I said, this is in transit now. My, my destination, so I'm gonna uh, head out. Hey, this this place is finished, and there's nothing, no one can do. I don't give. I don't care who's in office, right? Because that's a freaking joke. I don't care if you know you get the economy, uh, you know, situated. It, it don't matter what you do. It's already set in stone that America, Babylon, the Great will be destroyed, and there's no. Healing for her. None. None. The disease has already spread it. And you know, you know how uh, it gets in one part and they say, let's cut it out or amputate that and then it'll stop from spreading. No. No. It's all the, the this cancer p- disease is all throughout the body. And the only way <laughs> you're gonna be able to stop this disease from spreading is if what? The whore gets unalived. And that's what's going to take place. So that was just a quick hit. Little Will's that I found. So next time I want to say show I want.